It's Mickey and in today's video I have a huge Costco haul for you and some really awesome crock pot recipes. So if you are new here and you like DIY, decor, organizing, cooking, and planning videos, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. So I haven't been to Costco in about two months or so, and this is probably a little bit larger of a haul than my regular Costco trip would be. And trust me, I could have even bought more things, but I kind of helped myself back a little bit. We are in the market for a new refrigerator, and I really didn't want to pack this one too full just in case we came across, you know, the perfect refrigerator for us. So to start us off today, I got a package of these beautiful peaches. I thought they looked really delicious. I have two bags of everything bagels, a case of Greek yogurt, and a container of Tide Pods. I also bought two of the Downy Unstoppables. They are my favorite. I have a box here of kitchen bags, some smooth peanut butter, and a package of these small guacamoles. We always have these in the refrigerator. They are just my favorite topping for so many things. As far as meat goes, I got this package of these top sirloin steaks. I thought I would use that marinade that I bought last week at Walmart and get these on the grill this weekend. I also bought a package of chicken breast and my favorite rotisserie chicken. I used to mix in with pasta and I'm probably going to be making some chicken soup. I got a big bag of whole carrots. I use these for my soup and for roasting. I cut a bunch of them up on Sunday for the week. I got two loaves of nature's own honey wheat bread, a box of organic raisins, a container of dishwasher detergent, and a big 12 roll case of bounty paper towels. Over here, I have one of those really big tubs of Philadelphia cream cheese for our bagels. Now, if you cannot find Locatelli Romano cheese in your local grocery stores, this Romano cheese from Costco is really a good alternative. I also picked up an additional box of kitchen garbage bags and some Envy apples. So that's everything that I got at Costco today. I'm just gonna take a few minutes and put all of these things away. I made a quick stop on the way home at a new bakery that we have in town and I wanna show you what I picked up. So I was pretty excited. We just had a crumble cookie shop open up in town. Now, I had not been familiar with them before, but I guess they have locations all over the United States. Now, I am familiar with Insomniac Cookies, which is a shop that we have in Virginia. You often find them around college campuses. But Crumble Cookies is a gourmet cookie shop where you can pick up cookies for yourself or have them delivered to someone. Rebecca and I went into the store today and it is just super cute. We picked up these beautiful cookies. Fresh baked cookies have always been my favorite dessert and I really can't wait to try these. So we have been really wishing for stuffed peppers and I thought I would make that for dinner tonight but I thought I would try to make it in the crock pot. Now I have never tried this before but I can't imagine that it would be too difficult to do. So I went ahead and I pulled together all the ingredients that I think we're going to be needing. So for the meat, I'm going to be using um, a meatball and meatloaf mix, which is a combination of veal, pork, and beef. I think that this has so much more flavor than just a ground meat. This is what I always use to make my meatballs. So we're going to be using this today for the stuffed peppers. I have, let's see, I have five peppers over here, three green ones, two red ones, and I think what I'm going to do is just kind of cut these in half and fill them up that way and see how many, you know, I'll be able to get in the crock pot. So I also have some Italian breadcrumbs. I have a little bit of uh, Locatelli Romano. 
I have a 28 ounce jar of tomato sauce and I just have um, a few seasonings that I'm going to use. I'll probably be throwing in you know, other stuff into the mix as well, but I just have my salt and pepper, Mrs. Dash, and garlic powder. To start, of course, we are going to be browning our ground meat in a large saute pan. Now, I get questions about this pan all the time. This is probably the oldest pan I own. My mom bought this for me um, even before I was married. I think it was one of my bridal shower gifts, and I literally use this pan every day. It is a copper bottom Revere Wear pan. At the time, she had got me a whole set of Revere pans, and I have a few of them left, but this one is like a workhorse. I literally use it every day and it never lets me down. Now I'm not even sure if they still sell them. I'll look it up and see if I can find a link for you online somewhere. So I've let this cool a little bit and I've added salt and pepper. I'm going to go ahead and put in some minced onion, garlic powder, and Mrs. Dash. I'm not really sure on the you know measurements of this. Just do it until you think it's seasoned well enough and it's what your family likes. I'm also going to put in a good handful of Locatelli Romano cheese. I'm also gonna add in one egg and a good amount of breadcrumbs. So I'm going to start to mix this. Now this is pretty well cooled and drained really well and just mix all that stuff in until it starts to slowly stick together. I'm going to go ahead and put another egg in here and a little bit more breadcrumbs and then we should be ready to fill up our pepper halves. I have my peppers ready to go here. I have them all washed and cut in half. I have my meat all mixed up and ready to be stuffed into the peppers, and I have my crock pot all ready with one of those Reynolds liners. Over the top, we're gonna put our tomato sauce. Just pour it right on top. And then I'm just going to sprinkle on top a little bit of oregano, some basil, and a little bit of sugar. I'm gonna add a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes We'll cover it and cook it on low. I think we'll start for between two and three hours. So the house smelled so good while these peppers were cooking. I ended up cooking them about three hours. The peppers were just perfect and not too soft. I made some regular white rice to go along with the stuffed peppers and served them with a little bit of extra sauce. These were a huge hit with the family and I think I'll be using this crock pot method the next time I make them. It was so easy just to let them cook for a few hours while I was off doing other things. So if you guys remember, a couple weeks ago, I made a chocolate and peanut butter cake in the crock pot, and that was so good, I thought I would try another one. So I went ahead and went back to the crock pot lady's website, and I found the crock pot better than sex cake, and it looks delicious, so I thought I would try to make that today. So I've gathered together all the ingredients that we're going to need. I have um, a devil's food cake mix here. I have some Hershey's caramel ice cream topping. I have some vanilla. I have two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips, some water, two eggs, condensed milk, and some oil. So we're gonna get this all mixed and get it in the crock pot and get it baking. Yeah. 
shine in every color resting your head in my arms you sing la, 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 la. cover and cook on high for two to three hours until the center is set and a toothpick comes out clean out your crock pot insert and let it cool on your counter while you mix together the remainder of the condensed milk and caramel sauce then you're going to take a spoon and poke holes throughout your cake cover the top with the condensed milk and caramel sauce mixture then put your cake into the refrigerator for a few hours until you're ready to serve be sure to check the information section down below for links and details to all the recipes shared in today's video I served this cake up with some vanilla ice cream, chocolate and caramel sauce, and mini chocolate chips. This is one of those cake recipes that gets even better the longer that it stays in the refrigerator, but in our house it really didn't stay that long. So thank you all so much for watching today. I am so glad that you are enjoying these cooking videos. I'm kind of on a roll here, so there are many more on the way. Please join our communities over on Facebook and Instagram at My Bashful Life. And please don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other. Stay safe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.